hi guys so i'm really excited about the after delay micro interaction so i'm going to explain to you how this stuff works and how figma was able to evolve to this stage right really exciting so for some reason i've been seeing this interaction in a lot of places i've been able to condition it to work on prototype but for some reason eh, not figma don't get me wrong i was able to do something like that but not with the after delay interaction so i'm going I'm, I'm going to explain the concept of micro interaction so before this the whole concept of micro interaction you have to create multiple arts board and then create interactions like and then link them together and then you know have to move this stuff and make it work and so on and so forth but come on, Figma has evolved way beyond that. And probably there are some like excluded cases to where you might want to still do that. But uh, it's really, it's rare. Now I'll tell you what is happening here. The concept of micro interaction is that you have you created a component and you created a variant of that component. And you um, adjusted the variant and then you linked the main the default components to the variant and then use smart animate or whatever um other animation type to link them together to make it work then you take an instance to your main art board right and you know the whole thing just works like this right so that's the concept of micro interaction the interaction is where you just have to use frame by frame and make your things work but you know you having to import a component here that is interactive in itself and make it work in your art board is what micro interaction is all about that the concept right so i'll tell you we'll do this stuff from scratch here and i'll show you like different ways this stuff evolved to what it is today you know me showing you the art board um a hard board by art but this is one of them i'll show you another one right so i'll delete this let's just do it from scratch so you can understand this stuff in its full fully yeah so i duplicated <laughs> this stuff here so I'll, I'll try to explain i duplicated i held my alt and i just dragged or you copy and paste or you just type whatever the case might be so um after delay introduced right that's what i wrote <laughs> I was able to <laughs> have clown in my house. Have clowns here. So I was able to make the size 400. Right. And I held my, I pressed shift X to inverse my field to my stroke. Alternatively, you can do that by minusing your field and plus in your stroke and changing the color to white. Ah, uh, you can also increase the field to the stroke. So I say the stroke, the stroke weight to however you want to one point two or whatever the case may be that works for you, right? So I was able to do that. Now, okay, let me go back to my layer so you can see what's happening here. Now, this stuff cannot work horizontally. You see, it's static here. This stuff cannot really. It's just there, right? But we to make it scrollable. One of the things we need to do is to make it a frame make the text a frame constrain the text to the left if by default right you don't have to touch it i'm just telling you how it works and the reason we are constraining it to the left is so that when we try to drag the frame right so positions like this it does not have to move the, from the left it does not move so let's do something here let's say the text is constrained to the right what happens is that when i move this it moves right because it's constrained to the left so if i move it from this area here that side will not move right so just make sure it's constrained to the left so whenever you are adjusting this stuff you just it does not move like that okay so now if i go to my prototype right and i go to my overflow scrolling look at what happens here i am able to scroll horizontally with my hands so i think i'll just have to push this interaction up a little bit right so i can scroll horizontally you see that now let me show you something 
the design area you can see clip content right clip content is you saying that whatever is overflowing from the frame i want them to clip i want them to be clipped be like within that frame i don't want it to overflow if at all it's overflow i don't want it to show because it's still overflowing but it's not just showing right so and that's not what we want to do we we'll just un uncheck it and just leave it to be like this so you see the prototype here if it's in a vertical if it's vertical way like the way i was able to do this you just make it vertical right but we're looking at horizontal um, overflow here so just do it like that so uh moving on how i was able to achieve that is okay for now for the meantime let's just push this stuff down right i was able to make this guy here a frame after i made it a frame i created a variant right and i just pushed it to the left to the left right i push it to the left like this and so now we have default and variant right so from the default we click on our prototype section and we drag our wire to this and the interaction becomes now this is this is the involvement i was talking about here before there was no after delay it was only click drag and so on and so forth there was no after delay after delay was recently introduced right and that's what we are going to be using today so you just click on after delay yeah and you set it to whatever time you want it to start depending on you right so the animation area make sure it's a smart animate if it is not smart animate it will not be able to listen to that movement to make this stuff scrollable that's what smart anime does it is smart right other people will call it uh what do they call it auto animate some will call it auto animate some will call it so on and so forth but in figma it's smart animate exit calls it auto animate i think so okay so that's what it is and we'll just make the timing here to the maximum which is like ten thousand milliseconds it's like 10 seconds i guess uh after that i think that's all basically you come to the, the variant 2 you take it back here and you just make it smart animates but you reduce the time we want it to come back like with speed uh, let's say 200 with speed and just you know start all over again okay and you just use same after delay timing right and you could make it like almost zero um one milliseconds the, ma the minimum is one millisecond the maximum is ten thousand milliseconds all right and so you can name your frame so after delay delay 1.2 because i've done something like that before now i take it outside my my sorry i think i did a mistake there i take it outside my main frame yeah and i can come to my assets and type after delay 1.2 so you see yeah i have one there before so i can just put it here right alternatively you don't want to go to that asset point you just drag one of the instants and bring it here right if i drag this down instance here what happens is that i put it here like this and i just change swap it from here to default right so because you can actually swap it from the properties all right so basically i think that's that really so i'll show you we'll play it and we'll see work yes right so basically i think that's all of it if i play the interaction if i play this stuff now i make it full screen you see it happening okay so i think we need to move it up a little bit so it's nice to have a i'm using like I think 1920 180. So you look for 180 points here, somewhere around here, right? Just put it here, somewhere around here. And you see that in fullness, this is what we have, right? So basically, that's my interaction after delay. <laughs> I just hope it's not too long for you to watch, but try to watch it to the end. So that's how I did it, basically. So if you have any comments or opinions or maybe 
I made a mistake oh, there is a better way please drop comments below drop comments below so the same thing i did you can you can replicate it horizontally um, vertically i think you should try doing that and tag me on twitter if you can at smex design i'm a ex designer basically i am really really interested in interaction i love interaction i love interaction so that's that for now i'll see you some other time bye